Welcome to another exciting elective mathematics lesson for Form 2 on the most interactive, exciting educational platform. Our lesson for today is sequence and series. Today's objective for the lesson will be to differentiate between what is a sequence and what is a series. We will look at what makes a sequence a sequence and what is a series also looking like. The second objective for today's lesson will be to identify an arithmetic progression or what we short call an AP and also what we call an exponential progression or most of the time a geometric progression or a GP. And lastly, we'll look at solving equations involving both progressions. We will look at solving equations involving both progressions. Now let's begin the lesson. To define a sequence, we will say a sequence is an ordered list. It is an ordered list of items or terms, numbers for example, in which each succeeding term can be obtained from the previous term by a simple rule. So if you look at a sequence, you realize that there is a pattern for which the numbers are following each other. And so in our calculation, we'll be looking out for the patterns and trying to predict what will be the next number. However, a series can be defined as a representation of the summation of all the terms of a given sequence. So basically, if you have a sequence and you are looking at the summation of the sequence, you are doing what you call a series. So out of a sequence, when we sum all the values in the sequence, we are generating a series. Now, a finite sequence or series has a finite number of terms. So we know the first term and we know the last term of the numbers. On the other hand, an infinite sequence or series has an infinite number of terms. Now let's turn our attention to the first part of a sequence we call the arithmetic progression or short AP. It is a sequence which increase by a constant value or amount. So we can see that for any sequence to be established, there must be a constant value which increases per number. Therefore, there exists a common difference denoted by D between the consecutive terms. The first number is what you call the first term and it is denoted by A Hence, the second term as U2 can be expressed as A plus D. 